get us started. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, all of you. You're most welcome to our um, graduation session for the KWX for School Africa Mentorship Program. Wow. Since this year, we have been so busy um, trying to prepare for this program. And actually, the preparation started way back last year. And we are glad that we've come this far where we've seen um, today as uh, we, we're going to be graduating our um, KWX for School Ambassadors. Um, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. And we couldn't have come this far without the support of our partners, the support of our communities. And we are so much grateful to each and every one of you who have played an instrumental role. We're so much grateful to the mentors who avail themselves. And these are community members who avail themselves to also be supportive to help other people across the continent to acquire the skills. And so we are really grateful for this milestone and we're here. Um, just to give you a little bit um, background, um, uh, earlier this year, we launched the QX for School Africa Mentorship Program. And the whole aim was to train and mentor volunteers across Africa to acquire the necessary skills to be able to um, use KWX to be able to develop their own projects with KWX and see how they can use KWX to impact their community. And throughout um, the projects, we've had supportive partners like KWX. Um, KWX is an organization and also the owner of KWX, which is the software. Sorry, it's helping us support communities um, to access complementary form of educational resources offline. Because you and I know that in Africa, internet is very, very expensive. And we don't know when internet is going to become very affordable. And so while we're not waiting for that moment, we think that tools like this are essential in helping us um, um, support education in Africa, especially underserved communities who are not able to afford basic internet um, subscription and especially schools, because we know that internet is not, mostly is not in these schools that um, we're talking about. And so the whole idea of this program is to also, because um, most African countries share common challenges such as this, which is internet challenge, um, a lot of people, I don't know, the program that we're doing in Ghana was okay, more just... interested to learn about it because they want to provide similar solutions in their communities. And so this year, the, the, we scaled up the campaign, the, the, the program beyond Ghana, because in, for the past two years, we've been implementing this program in Ghana, but this year we decided to reach out to the wider community because we've we've had a knock on our door severally that uh, we need to reach out to them and help them to understand how these tools are, are used and so that inspired us to take up the chemistry for school africa mentorship program seriously and with the support of our partner like um Kiwix, like stefan who is the ceo of kewix we have been able to come up with this program to see how other people can also benefit from this program. And throughout this journey, um, we developed different strategies in implementing the program. And that was adopting a self-based learning platform whilst also having um, a live session. So more of a hybrid session because we understand the time zone difference, and if we were to only limit it to live sessions, it would be very chaotic. So we made it as flexible as possible for people to go through. And then there were assessments that students were supposed to also take. And students were also assigned to mentors. And so if you notice, each, each mentor had a group of mentees, a smaller group of mentees that um, 
he or she was responsible for grooming so that in, in a situation where these mentees had questions, they know who to reach out to and to support or they know who to schedule one-on-one -on -one sessions with. So these were the kind of supports that was provided during the session. And we must say that the um, interest at which people saw this, uh, I mean, reflected in our lunch sessions. We had about 100 people attending the lunch. And even we had more than 200 people applying to be part of this program. And that tells us that this is really, really a big deal because we couldn't even enroll all the students. But we gave opportunity to about 100 students who participated in this program. And the program had some criteria for you to name. The first criteria was that you complete the uh, online self-paced learning and you also complete your assignment and also take advantage of the live sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions that the mentors provided. And out of the 100 students that were enrolled, we realized that 98 people were successful to sign up onto the cost platform, which is like a very huge, um, huge um, um, turn, turn up on the platform. And we also realized that um, throughout the program, um, only 62 participants were really successful in completing all the aspects of the program. And that means that completing the online um, learning platform, uh, completing the two assignments that were given to them, and also taking advantage of all the, the live sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions that were provided by their mentees. And so we're so proud of these 62 participants because they've gone through a lot. They've, they've really proven that this thing, this program really means a lot to them and, and, and have really like gone through every step on the way to make sure that they get to this milestone. And so we are here today, not because of anything, we're here to celebrate these 62 participants from um, about 20 countries. And, and we are talking about countries like Nigeria, Benin, Cameroon, Chad, Chad, Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Ghana, Guinea, Kenya, Morocco, Namibia, Nigeria, Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania, Togo, South Sudan, Uganda, and Switzerland. These were where our participants are coming from. This is so amazing. And we must say that um, we, we know that there were the other cohorts that are still like reaching out to us to um, enroll them for the second cohort. I must say that the likelihood for us to host this, the next cohort will be in 2024. So please kindly look out for that. In 2024, we're going to be grooming a new set of mentors. We'll make sure that all the, we want to, we, we don't want to rush because we also want to make sure that all the feedback that we have gathered from this first cohort are incorporated properly so that we provide um, the community with a more, um, 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 improved version of the program that we did, did, did and a more inclusive version uh, with multiple language provision because this we were able to only provide um, support in terms of French, you know. So we're looking at all these considerations to make it more uh, a more successful one next year. But we are so proud of your achievement. We are so proud of your dedication. And I wouldn't want to talk much, but I want to give the honor to um, Stefan here to give us um, an inspiring message. Stefan have a message for all of us here. And so I'll open the floor to Stefan. And then we also have some ambassador, some mentors and mentees have some wonderful experiences to share with us. And then we will also do a slideshow of the graduation, those who are graduating. Amazing and all of that. Um, without much ado, I want to give the honor to Stefan. Thank you so much for being playing such an instrumental role on this project. All right, thank you very much, Ruby. Um, just quick words. I'm super, 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 super 
super, super happy to be here. Uh, and I'm really proud to see uh, how well the program has taken off. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. Um, this is a great thing. And I think Ruby said it right. You have the power and the tool to change things. And I'd like to hear, um, so that is my message for uh, further down the road. I'd like to hear back about how it works for you and what people do and how they react. Any story is a good story. And it's a learning process. So you will see things that you did not realize would be asked of you. You will see things that you were prepared for, which is the good news about this program. Um, but all of them, I my word of recommendation is probably to, to keep some sort of journal of this because one tends to forget, you know, when you're in the rush of things. And it's always a good practice to look back at where you started and where you've been after, I don't know, six months, a year. And um, at the end of the day, there's a lot of you. So all those stories together actually build a much bigger story. And that is one I would definitely like to to help you, that you help me write. Um, so feel free to reach out. You know where Ruby is. Um, I'm, again, very proud of you. You made it through. It's not the greatest product. It's a very good product, but there's still, like, you know, lots to do. Feel free to, to ping. Feel free to suggest. We're very open. And do whatever you want with it. It's your tool. Now you own it. You're certified. You're the kings and queens. Thank you so much, Stefan. Um, this is a wonderful message. Feel free to use however you want to use KWAX. Feel free to um, bring your recommendation for improvement so that we, the tool can better serve your context. And also, I must say that now that we are graduating, we are looking to pilot the program in five countries. And so there'll be a random recommendation from, like we'll pick some random re recommendations. And then um, we were hoping that give you guys experiences in your country, give us a feedback and so that we understand how different countries work. So that in the coming years, we can be able to support more countries with um, like sort of like funding or support to implement the programs properly. And also feel free to, like Stefan said, feel free to navigate it, okay? To, to, from this program, we are now KWX ambassadors. And so feel free to reach out for collaborations, reach out for funding from other institutions, with media and all of that. If you want to implement a project in your country and we're here to support you. And, and I think Wikimedia also supports open knowledge, open resources such as this. So if you're looking to develop a, implementation plan and you don't have any idea feel free to reach out to us and we are here to support you um so i'll let um i have some key notes from some of our mentors here and i'd like to call on um Zibling from ghana Zibling has been one of our mentors i don't know if he's, if he's on the call Yes, he's been one of our mentors, and so he has some wonderful words of encouragement for us all. So in the next two minutes, I'll let Siblim share some words of encouragement. Yeah. Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon. Can, can, can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Go ahead. Okay. So first <laughs> of all, I would like to um say congratulations to all the participants across Africa. Um, actually, this particular program, I think there would have been a lot of people who wanted to participate in it, but the people who are here and then they've passed through the process. I think um you people have put in a lot of dedication to the work. Actually, you were recruited with your colleagues. And then from the experience I had with other uh, mentors, I've seen that it is not all the participants who were enrolled who completed the course. So the few of you that um, completed, it means you've really shown a lot of dedication. And then this is a free knowledge. Um, it's not something that you have to pay for. So as far as it is made free for you to use, try to implement it in your societies. 
So when I was made, um, when I was also in Menti and then I went through the process, I didn't only wait to be funded before I go to schools because I want to spread the free knowledge to people. And then that's also the goal of um, Open Foundation West Africa. So let's try to make a good use of the opportunity and then spread the free knowledge as much as we, we can. Sometimes you may go to some schools and then you have challenges with the authority. You just have to be patient because some of them think you are doing it for money or there is a benefit that comes to you, but actually it comes to them. So in as much as you face difficulties, you try to be patient at the same time to make them get the benefits. It is just something that is open to everyone. And then you have to make sure that you make the whole Africa proud, not only the country that you are. So if, whether you are funded or not, we know the first pilot project would be for the first five countries that would be mentioned. But regardless of your funding status, even if you are not funded, this is a practical knowledge. As much as you leave it and then you are not practicing, uh, you forget everything again. So let's try to um, spread the knowledge and then make sure that the impact really goes across Africa. Um, congratulations once again. And then I hope to see you also being ambassadors like we have been and then mentors to other people one day. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you so much, Siblim. Siblim is one of our mentors. He's done so well. I want to call on another mentor who also volunteered to give us a keynote address, and that's Yaltuba. Um, without much ado, I give you the floor to say something. Yaltuba. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so um, thank you very much for this um, opportunity giving me. Okay, so first of all, I would like to congratulate um, each and everyone uh, for this, um, for completing this course successfully with um, good grace and, and so on. So, I think this case project is a is a good project that will help each and every one year. I will urge um, each and every one year to take it very serious. Try to um, implement it in the various um, schools in your community, and so on. And you know, this kind of project, a lot of people are paying um, sums of money to just uh, get knowledge about this thing and. At least you've gotten this um, 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 this course for free, and there are more opportunities through this project. I know um, more doors will be opening through this project you've done. So um, I urge um, all of us to challenge. I urge all of us to um, take this course um not end like maybe just end because you've graduated or i try to um explore more in this curious project try to play around the software and try to um i don't know how to to even try to like, make use of it the best yeah yeah of yeah, it. yeah 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 <laughs> out of it if you have any idea or just feel free to share it and let's all like come together to help and make this project a very big one. Uh, so that's all I'll say for now. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you so much, Yaltuba. Um, this is inspiring. I want to also um, congratulate our trainers of trainers. So these guys have done a wonderful job and I must commend Maxwell and Otto. They train mentors to become mentors, and then we could now have more mentors to support our mentees for the Africa program. So without much ado, I want to give opportunity to Otuo. Otuo, I'm putting you on the spot if you're here. I know you're a very busy person traveling all over, but if you can give us some words of encouragement to our mentees who are graduating today, we'll really be much be grateful. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Ruby. Yeah, I think you you you've actually put me on the spot. Yeah, um, let me. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, we can. Yes. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm very sorry. I'm actually traveling around. I'm not in the country now, so it's a bit shaky for me. So if I'm not getting my voice right, um, someone is having his own toll on me. So that is why my voice might not be clear. But <laughs> to um, our, our faithful ones who are passing out today and who are graduating, um, let me tell you one thing about myself and how I've been moving up and down with this um, project. So Maxwell and myself met um, about a little years ago. Yeah, we, it just came up in a conversation because we were planning of going to my alma mater to carry out a restoration project. And then he comes up with Kivix from nowhere. And as, as and when he told me about it, I didn't know much about the whole thing, but what I knew was that it was a good thing to be able to get online content offline in a global South country like Ghana is a good thing. So though I didn't know much about it, I gave it my all and I said, this thing, we're going to do it. And so it wasn't part of our agenda for that particular visit to my alma mater, our alma mater at the time. But when we went to the school, we asked them for an opportunity to share this particular project with us. It was after that, we came back to even plan how we would run the whole project. So the first KVS project we ran in Kumasi was a knee-jerk reaction. It just happened to us and then we just picked the opportunity. So I was driving and then Maxwell comes in and says, okay, I'm meeting you up. So I pick him up and then we just talk about this and then you just go do it. So sometimes you don't need to think too much about something. When you know the objective is good and the vision is clear, just move with it. As you go, resources will be made available for you. And to the few Christians who are around, I'm a Christian, so I want to say something small. So God does not call the people who are already equipped. He calls people to equip them for his work. And so, much, so should you do in this business. If you think you know it all, you can keep it to yourself. But then if you think that you will get the resources available when you make the move, that is when you get the resources. So myself, Maxwell, the trainers, everyone, they are all available to give you in-depth knowledge and then to be uh, to also help you with the little experiences we have. But we train you not to be like us, but to be more than us, to make sure you do more exploit than you have done. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you so much. We train you not to be like us, but to do more exploits than us. And so we're looking forward to those exploits um, um, projects that you're going to be doing in your various communities. Um, without much ado, I want to switch it to give opportunity to other mentees. Mentees have had wonderful experience. We want to hear from them. And so I want to first of all give the opportunity to Hala Gia from Tanzania. She has wonderful experience. I'm watching all the videos that you guys sent to me and they were amazing videos sharing your experience on this program. But we're here live at the graduation. And so we want to hear from you. Other mentees want to hear from you. Um, Hala Gia, if you're here. Yeah, I think you're here. We want to hear from you. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me again? Hello. Yes, please. Yes, Ruby, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, but, we can hear you. I'm still on, like, uh, I'm not so excited, but I'm on. Are you okay, or do we go and come back? Yeah, yes, I think um, it will be good after some time. Okay, let me get to the next person. So I want to invite Iselo. Okay. Iselo, if you're here, um, I want to hear your wonderful voice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay, no problem. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, joining the Kiwis family is an interesting thing for me, and I've learned a lot. And I want to encourage us to use Kiwis. And why I said so is this let me use my country, Nigeria, as a reference point. I'm a teacher by profession. And in, in our school system, we don't allow students to use uh, mobile phones. So the introduction of Kiwis, I've, I've introduced Kiwis to some of my students and some of my colleagues. And recently I introduced it to uh, the reading, uh, reading Wikipedia in, uh, in the classroom 
team in Anambra and they were so excited. Now, because we don't allow students to use mobile phones and because some schools don't have ICT centers, this tool is going to make it very interesting. Now we have uh, control content that we can give our students. By, this, by doing this, they don't have all these ad interferences when they are learning, like when they are browsing the net, they don't have game app in, uh, adverts, uh, business adverts, fashion adverts. They, they will not deal with that, with the use of Kiwis. Kiwis. Also, uh, Kiwis is bridging the digital gap especially in my country where we have poor internet connectivity or no internet co connectivity. Kiwix will help us deal with that. And um, what else? Because Kiwix is, uh, is multilingual in nature, everybody can now read contents in your, whether your dialect, your language, and wherever you are, it's all inclusive, irrespective of who you are. I'm an advocate of uh, digital education, digital literacy and adult education. So with the introduction of Kiwis, it's going to help us deal with this very well. So you don't have to be afraid of spending money buying data and you won't have internet connectivity or looking for where to source learning materials. Kiwis is going to take care of that. So that's what I want to share with you all. Thank you so much. I want to thank the Kiwis family for introducing us to this wonderful app. Thank you so much. Wow. We want to thank you also for being a part of the Kiwix family because we all here are part of the Kiwix family. Um, Carol, if Carol is here, um, just a few words of encouragement and we will move to the next person. Hi, good evening. Carol it's... from Kenya, right? Yes, good. yes. My name is Carol. And it's evening here in Kenya. So greetings from Nairobi. And I'm super excited for this day. When um, I remember when we, I saw the advert for people to apply for the mentorship program, uh, immediately I thought about the Kenya curriculum. And um, we recently had a change of the curriculum, a new curriculum that has rolled out. And one of the things that... Um, the kids are supposed to study is science and technology. And uh, mapping out our schools around Kenya and uh, all the areas around uh, our country that has no access to internet, I thought this is it. This is a chance for us to roll out such a wonderful program, such a, a great thing for and bridge that gap. Uh, since uh, at the end of the day, the government cannot do it all. We need to support the governments across around and um, bridge this gap and uh, attain that uh, sustainable development goal uh, all over Africa. And now specifically, I thought all the Kenyan going children. And it's, it's, it was uh, quite exciting learning and reaching out to the person who was uh, teaching us and I think reaching out also to Ruby. I am super excited and proud for all Africans represented here. This is, um, I would I call it, the, this is our baby. This is uh, what we need to do. And this is uh, time, this is our time now to spread uh, digital literacy, to spread um, uh, open knowledge across countries, across um, uh, all areas that we never thought maybe we can have kids or whoever accessing uh, information. Uh, I champion for free knowledge as a librarian and open knowledge, and I'm super excited. And uh, Ruby, everyone who has been here uh, championing us and encouraging us, thank you so much for this program. And I can't wait to hear from Southern Sudan. I know Romeo is here and I'm super excited for him and everybody around from Tanzania, from Uganda, from West Africa. Congratulations everybody for taking uh, the bold step and being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing this wonderful experience. So we want to invite two more people. I don't know if we'll have Abubakar is here. Um, 
for her, but of her is not here. Um, I want to give the opportunity to um, Valentin and Romeo to give us some some few words, and then we will move to the next page. And Pelagia, if you are still available to talk, let just let me know in the chat. Valentin. Hello. <laughs> yeah, from DR Congo. You can, you can speak ouais, ouais, French. Je suis euh, Valentin de l'air de Congo. Euh, je voulais tout simplement dire merci à... I think you need to go to the French room. Il y a vraiment Aridou et surtout euh, à tous les mentors qui ont pu prendre beaucoup de temps pour euh, nous former. Ils ont concentré leur temps. Je sais très bien que c'était de manière bénévole, mais quand même, malgré leurs tâches, malgré leurs euh, préoccupations, ils ont pu... Euh, nous donner dans la guerre ouverte ce qu'ils avaient comme connaissance. On a beaucoup appris, c'était un moment très spécial pour nous et on espère bien surtout euh, mettre en pratique à notre tour aussi de partager ce qu'on a eu comme connaissance à travers d'autres personnes dans nos différentes communautés. Et les problèmes à Internet, c'est un problème majeur en Afrique et je crois qu'avec UX, on va essayer un peu de, de donner la possibilité à tout le monde d'avoir accès à tout des informations qui sont sur Internet sans pour autant avoir Internet. C'est quelque chose de très spécial et très particulier, surtout euh, au Congo et dans d'autres recoins de l'Afrique, que nous puissions donner la possibilité à tous ces gens-là qui n'ont pas souvent l'argent pour se payer des portes Internet. On sait très bien que c'est ça qui est trop cher en Afrique, mais aussi, il faut aussi acheter, mais il y a toujours ce problème des connexions qui est toujours compliqué. Mais avec Kiwix, on, on sait que on peut donner la possibilité à tout le monde, à toutes ces informations-là, sans pour autant euh, gaspiller aucun frais. Donc, merci beaucoup pour ce programme. J'ai été vraiment honoré de pouvoir participer à ce programme et surtout de dire euh, grand merci à, à toute l'équipe parce que c'est une réussite d'arriver à la fin comme ça et arriver à coller les gens. Donc, c'est une grande réussite. Merci beaucoup et désolé pour le bruit. Je suis dans un endroit, il y a beaucoup de bruit. Mais c'était un, un grand plaisir. Merci. Allez. Wow, thank you so much, Valentin from DR Congo for those wonderful words. And lastly, we want to invite Romeo. Romeo. Yes, oh, thank, thank, thank you so much, Ruby. I just got this amazing uh, text and the quote which says that um, empowering minds through knowledge, Kiwix open doors to a world of possibilities. So I guess like all of us who are graduating today, uh, Hello, Romeo. to just give access to knowledge really free. Hello, okay, can you I get think me? We miss you a bit if you can go over that section. Hello. Last... Yeah, I was I was just trying I, I was just trying to say. Hello, Ruby. Can you now get me? Yes, you can. Yeah, so I was I was just trying to say that I was reading this amazing quote that says that um that empowering minds through knowledge, uh, Kiwix opens doors to a world of possibilities. So I guess really we have a lot of possibilities out there. My country as well, South Sudan, I guess every other country here, we literally face like the same challenges, you know, internet connectivity, it being expensive, but also the fact that just knowledge is not enough to our communities. So I guess um, giving this possibility and thank you so much to Open Foundation, like I was wondering when I would ever land this, but this comes in super handy for me to use the tool to communicate back with my community and share this amazing knowledge that we have had in different formats. So thank you so much. Uh, I would just say congratulations, everyone. And yeah, we'd love to connect more and collaborate together to see that we can create a more impactful Africa. Thank you, um, Ruby. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, so we are we, we are still together. Before we move to the next section of the program, I want to take a good photo. Um, Stefan will have to jump into another call. We want to take a photo with the CEO of Kiwix. Aren't she proud? Yes, because we are all now one big family and we all want to uh, represent in this family. So feel free to show your pictures, show your... Yeah. yeah, that is nice. So many faces. Wow. I hope we won't the be crashing the meeting with like that much video. <laughs> <so>. <laughs>
<laughs> One big Kiwix family. Wow, 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 wow. Are we still waiting for some more people? Okay, Gilbert, Barack, um, Silas, David, okay, Atta, Frank, oh, Jerry. This is nice. Cosmos, wow. Izzy, is in her car. <laughs> One, is it, let's look, let's see your face. One, by the count of three, we're gonna shoot the picture. So get ready, hurry up. One, two, three. Let's smile, green. We're gonna put it on our different block. So we wanna see your smiling faces. Let's show the world that we are proud and one big Kiwix family. One, two, three. David, baby Sola, one, two, three. Okay, good. Okay, I hope I've captured. I think there's some people who didn't own any. No, I think it's two slides. Sorry. Wow. I didn't know that it's two. Okay. Okay. We're good. We are good. Thank you so much, Stefan. We are so proud of you. You're so Thank proud. you, everyone. Can you take it I am again? Can you, you take it again? Take it again. Let me turn on my... Ah. Let's <laughs> take it again, then. Okay, okay. Sure. One, two, three, two, 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 two. Three. Hey, Butola. <laughs> Where are you been hiding? Wow, I, nice. I just have to turn on my camera. I know, I right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Abdul Rafi. Wow. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, we're good. I need to run, people. Things. Thank you very much again for your thank time. You, thank you. Have a you, lovely Stephane. evening everywhere. You too. And thank you. Thank you, Ruby. Right. You're the best. So, thank you. So, we are not done. We're, we're heading to the second phase, uh, which is to let's, we're going to do a very wonderful session. Take a drink. I mean, be proud of yourself, be proud of your achievements. The others here who are also joined us to celebrate you. And so without much ado, I want to invite um, Eugene to take us to the graduate, the, the graduates. And let's have some fun. Let's share in the chat, say hello to someone, connect to someone, make suggestions. What, what ways do you think? Hi, everyone. Uh, just like our previous speakers have said, congratulations once again. And we are very excited that um, you embarked on this journey to make Kiwix um, accessible to people that don't have access to, um, access to it. So um, just like Ruby um, said, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to um, just show a slideshow of the grad ones, you know, everyone that partook in this course and has successfully graduated. We are going to just show a brief um, slideshow and probably if you see your face if you just um, raise your hand or you know share an emoji in the message box just to see how excited you are um, yes so let me do that now can everyone see my screen wow. yes okay can. you can okay so one two three the start
Grandma too. Hello. I like it. Yes, so that was the you know beautiful slideshow of our grad ones. And if you saw your face or you saw your over here, can you just you know unmute and say hi and hello at the same time? So we all feel Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. 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 Okay, 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 okay. So I was hearing so many voices. I, I didn't even know who was saying it, you know, but it's it's beautiful to, you know, see um our amazing graduates partake in this course and then just to know that they aren't doing this just for fun, but they're doing this to impact um, the world. So once again, we will congratulate you for your efforts and all and for your time to make this Curious for Schools Africa project possible. So I'm going to be sharing um, each um, flyer with all of you. And then by the end of the week, I would also share the official certificate with you. You would officially get it through your email or through a Google Drive form. So just be expecting that um, by the end of the week. 
And once we share the flyers with you, you are required to post them on your social media handles and then tag us. So I'm going to share all that with you now. And I'm also going to attach it to the email that will come with the certificate. So once you get the email, just know that you're going straight to your social media platforms. I'm going to share it and then tag us. Just let the world know that you are a Curious for Schools ambassador. Thank you. Thank you all for this wonderful journey for staying through with us for this past month. It's not been easy, but we're glad that you all have made it to this stage. I want to say that let this not be the end of the skills that you've acquired. Whether it be in a community center, even if it's just one laptop, talk about it, make noise about it, because that is what is going to help you to understand the implementation aspect of the program, because this is the learning aspect. And then you get to the stage where you want to implement it. So don't wait for a big school before you start implementing it. Try it on a, one or two computers or even in a school or in a community library that has a device, you know, that the tool works on devices. So try it, let the community experiences, let them give you their feedback and all of that. So that when you have those little, little experiences and milestone in your, in your journey, you'll be able to understand the implementation aspect properly. And then if you're looking at scaling it up or developing a more bigger project where you need funding and all of that, we're here to, that's why the community is here to endorse your funding proposal. Because now that you're a part of the Kimmix family, if you, I see your proposal and you reach out to me that, oh, you want to implement Kimmix in your community and you're looking for funding for maybe this, and you need us to give you a recommendation or something like that, we will, because we know that you've gone through the procedure, you know what you're about to. So, and feel free, if you're, com you're in a particular community that does projects or you have funding for your own project, you can incorporate this as your, part of your program so that you're having diverse kind of program, diverse kind of um, impact that you're offering to your community. So that it's not just one way things that you're doing, but you're diversifying your impact. And diversifying your impact also means diversifying your portfolio, diversifying your opportunity, because this is a very valid tool that can bring a lot of collaboration. Even NGOs that are looking at impacting communities and doing great work or in, in communities that are underserved, can be able to collaborate with them, tell them that you have some solution for this particular community that needs um, this opportunity and you have the skill. And so they have the money, so you develop a program out of it, okay? So that's how it works. You have the skill, develop a program out of it. If you're wondering how to go about your program, you're not sure how to go about your program, that's why the community is here, the Kiwix community is here. We actually have a Kiwix Telegram channel where Stefan himself is on that platform. And so you're not alone. I don't think that we've left you in the wilderness to go and suffer. No, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Ask those who have been there. Ask on the Telegram group. Ask anybody, okay? And then we'll be there to support you. So let this not be the end of the journey. Develop a program. If you need funding to support your travels or to schools or your visit, you know, logistical aspects of the program, we're here to support you. If you think that maybe you're not able to do this alone, you need other support, feel free to develop your program and then um, explore other funding opportunity. Um, because this is a pilot phase of our year, we don't have a lot of funding for implementation. Like I said, we want to also pilot the implementation and understand how it is so that we are not going to um, take money and say that, okay, we're giving everybody this amount, amount when we've not piloted and then tested it to see if it worked or not. So this stage particularly, especially this year, is more of like an experimental stage where we're learning and trying to um, properly develop and, and support the community better in the coming year, next year, okay? There are other tools that you can use, um, like the Raspberry Pi. So if you have... Um, projects that are interested in developing Raspberry Pi, you can con con contact us, then we can work with KWX to make this Raspberry Pi available. And the reason why we've not really been using Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi are devices that are uh, sold by other communities, okay, other organizations. And so they are not free. 
that's what you need to know. So if you're developing a program and you want to use RAP Simplify, then you need to consider those um, the cost of it into your budget and all of that. So then let's see. The uh, one good thing about RAP Simplify, which we learned, was the fact that it works like a Wi-Fi. So you don't need to install on each computer. It just you just need one RAP Simplify in, in one computer lab, and it's okay for everybody to connect. That's how it works. So um, this is amazing. This is not the end of the journey, but this is just the beginning of the journey. And so go out there, tell the world that you're now the KOX ambassador, a KOX for school ambassador. You're officially certified to go out there to implement the project. So feel empowered. You are so powerful now. Feel empowered, feel motivated, and feel feel like look, all of us here are here supporting you to make sure that you, you successfully implement your project. Like uh, one of our mentees said, don't wait for a bigger funding, okay? Start small. Start with one computer, understand how it works. Let the people use it, train them and see how it works. And then you can have a bigger project and then you can have more funding. Wikimedia Foundation supports this project, okay? So it means that if Wikimedia supports this project, if you and your country, Wikimedia, will be happy to support your implementation project if you are able to successfully submit a grant funding. And other organizations like your government institutions, NGOs, and all of that. So we have an open mind. If you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with us, feel free to write to us at info at OFW africa.org Eugene will send it in the chat and then schedule a time with us and let's talk about your project yeah without much i do i think um if you have any questions i want to give the opportunity to some few people to say something if you have any questions i think i saw some hands raised uh, earlier i don't know if they still want to say something but the floor hello, is yours for the next five minutes hello, hello. Who is speaking? Good afternoon. Thank you, Baby Sola. This uh, hello, we hear you. If you want to say something, oh. just raise up your hand. Yeah, Abdul. Abdul, your network is hello. We are not able yes. to hear you. Okay, Chad, Chad Rapp, whilst Abdul is fixing his internet connection, Chad Rapp, I don't know if you mentioned it right. Hello, uh, merci. Bonjour, bonjour à tous. J'espère que vous me captez et que vous m'écoutez bien. Alors, euh, déjà, en remplissant les formulaires, je, je savais que je serais occupé aujourd'hui et que je ne pouvais pas euh, pouvoir parler. Mais j'ai fait de mon mieux pour que je, je puisse me, me faire représenter euh, dans mon occupation pour que je sois là et que je, je vive l'événement. Alors, je voudrais d'abord remercier, remercier euh, au foie, donc euh, pour l'opportunité et tous les mentors et spécialement Ruby pour euh, le management que vous avez fait depuis les débuts euh, jusqu'à la fin, ainsi que Eugène qui nous envoie souvent des emails, des rappels et tout et tout. En tout cas, la L'accompagnement a été vraiment, vraiment efficace, euh, spécialement avec euh, le mentor euh, pour nous les francophones, M. René, qui nous a vraiment assisté et accompagné, mais aussi orienté pendant toute la formation. Et je pense que ce, cette formation ne sera pas sans effet, sans effet okay. parce que euh, ça nous a ouvert les yeux Alors. sur des opportunités qui étaient, mais que nous ne pouvions okay. pas facilement donner une solution. Mais là, j'ai compris, euh, notamment parce que moi, je, je suis de base enseignant. Je suis de base enseignant et je vis à Kinshasa, mais je, je pars donner des cours dans des lieux ruraux. Et je suis souvent confronté, non seulement moi, mais aussi mes, mes apprenants, que ce soit les étudiants ou les élèves, à ces problèmes d'avoir accès euh, au contenu en ligne. Parfois, quand il pleut, il n'y a pas la connexion. Parfois, il y a des, des, des problèmes d'infrastructure, parfois la qualité des connexions n'est pas bonne. Et là, j'ai trouvé une alternative beaucoup plus intéressante et qui sera efficace et qui va aider mes apprenants ainsi que le, 
les différentes institutions que je rencontre. Et là, j'ai déjà l'idée comment est-ce que je peux implémenter plusieurs projets qui mixent au moins pour chaque école ou pour chaque université ou au besoin de créer un petit projet sous forme d'un petit centre au milieu de la ville pour que les enfants ou les élèves viennent souvent participer. Donc, en tout cas, merci beaucoup. Merci à tous. Et félicitations aussi à tous les autres ambassadeurs. Et j'espère que la suite sera merveilleuse. Merci et bonne soirée. Merci. We want to... Uh, no, no, I was going to invite you. Uh, uh, so Rene is actually our French ambassador for KWIX. Okay, he's done an amazing, amazing work. And I, I, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much, Rene, for um, supporting us on this project. Hello. Yeah, Costis, uh, when the the his rain in in the town, so he's he's very great about this opportunity and think that he can implement the project in his country. So he thinks about uh, my mentorship uh, and thinks about all open foundation opportunity given for the Congo. The Congo is his country. So he say, thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much, Renee. Wow, we're going gradually coming to the end of this um, session. If there aren't any other questions, um, yeah, are there any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Um, without, Ruby. hello? Ruby. Hello, Aben. Okay, Aben uh, wants to say something. This, this is Abdul. Abdul, okay. Very mm. lot of faces here. <laughs> All right. Um, I just want to thank you and then um, the organizers for this opportunity. Um, I think um, you were talking of some device for is it raspberry or what is it? Yeah. Uh, can throw more light on how is it used or how this is basically you know the last time you met with the CEO of two weeks, uh, my network was bad. So the questions I actually wanted I was able to ask it. Okay. So the Raspberry Pi actually works mm. like um, it's it's actually works like a MiFi, like a small MiFi device where you can connect internet. Okay, so it features like an internet the way that an internet uh, uh, Raspberry Pi or MiFi works. So once you connect to it, you you are able to access that content on your device, whether it's a phone, whether it's a laptop, any kind of device that connects to it, like the way you're connecting to the internet, using or uh, an internet on a router or something like that, you are able to access the content that uh, it has. So even though it's not an internet, it works like it's giving you an internet connection. And when you connect to it, whatever content that has been programmed on that Raspberry Pi, you are able to access it. So that's how simple it works. So unlike the traditional method of having to um, download the keywords on your pen drive and then install it on each of the computer when you get to the schools, like one after the other, 
the Rust glorify makes it easy. So when you give one school like like one school computer lab, one Raspberry Pi, you're done with your project. All that you need is, is to make sure that you have the tailored uh, content that the school needs, and then you're done. So the traditional so, one, you would have spent some time to install it one after the other on these computers, and that's the difference. So how do we get it? How do we? So get there it? are there are organizations that um, if you go online, just search for Raspberry Pi. Um, people sell this Raspberry Pi and. Uh, Kiwis also have an organization that they partner with to work on this Raspberry Pi, but they don't sell it for, they don't give it out for free. Um, someone say it's a capable little device that enable people of all ages to explore computing exactly. So um, what we do is that we, they work with Kiwis and Kiwis can program whatever contents that you need on it and work with them and then they program it on the Raspberry Pi before it's sent to you okay so this is also one way so like i said if you want to go well also wants to say something right also yeah ruby uh, i'll be running away anytime soon yeah. and so i just want to pass this through before I, I leave um so it's it's i think we can best as ruby said the my fee the wifey all operation is on that same principle but you can the best way you can just google search it okay i think the first time i heard that like it you, you see pictures of it and you appreciate it. You know, some years ago, we used to have modems. I don't know if you remember, before internet yeah. became so easy that people can access. Yeah, you can see them. They are just like modems that we use around. So to get a pictorial view of it, the way she's saying, it might be a little bit confusing for you. Yeah, the first yeah. time I heard that's what I did. I just Google search it. I went to pictures and I saw some nice pictures and I could really relate and appreciate it. So I think uh, you can do that to help you. Lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's well, that's so helpful. I mean, you've simplified my 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 words. Um, I don't know if anybody has any other questions, but without much ado, uh, we want to give a closing remarks, and I want to invite that our administrative executive in the person of Jael um, Boateng, um, and she's here to give us some closing remarks. So, Jael, the floor is yours. Yeah, mute. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was muted. Can you hear me now? Okay, all right. So uh, I'm so happy to be part of this. And um, I know it's been an amazing journey. It hasn't been easy for some people with connectivity issues and all of that during this virtual class. But I believe the, um, the way we handled this also helped you, you know, everyone in different time zones and all of that. I believe the mentorship also helped a lot and you were able to use your mentors very well. Just as Ruby said, even though you are graduating, you still have access to some of these people and resources and you shouldn't just let them go like that. They are still here to help you. All of us are here if you need anything. So I'll first of all, start by congratulating you. Wow, you've done so well, you know, well done. Yes, congrats to all of you, 100 people enrolled. But then you are the ones that have been able to, you know, go through the course and see it to its finish. So a huge congratulations from all of us here at Open Foundation West Africa to you all. And we say kudos for a great job, well done. And we also want to thank Stefan for this platform. Stefan has been so helpful, you know, trying to and um, meet all of you and all of that. He's had time for this project. And so I just want to say thank you to Stefan and thank you to our mentors as well. You know, Ofa operates with this um, volunteer mentality. And so we know that you are not compensated that much for the things you do, but you are so passionate about learning and giving out knowledge. And so you're always there when we call on you all. So thank you also has spoken 
um, who was like a peace setter in this thing. So thank you all so much for availing yourselves to mentor all these over 60 people that um, we have here today. And we wanna say a big thank you to the mentees as well. Having time, imagine me um, spending resources to design this program and having no one enroll. It would be a huge mess. So this is a success because of you. So thank you so much to the mentees as well. And to the offer team led by the programs of Sir Ruby, thank you so much for your dedication to this project and all other projects as well. Thank you all for seeing this to its complete finish. And as we close, I just want to encourage you, as Ruby has said, to make good use of this knowledge that you have gained. You have access to a pool of resources, a whole lot of them, just the books or online platforms that you can gain information, but you have access to people as well that you can make inquiries from people that can clarify things that you may, maybe that dumbfound you and all of that. Make good use of every resource available to you and make sure that you do not sit or sleep with this certificate you are going to be given do something with it, you know, it is, you spend time acquiring this knowledge. So make great use of it, be a Curix ambassador into the five lucky people that will be selected for the piloting. We say that when you get this resource um, to do the work, please give it the same commitment that you gave in studying and every other person out there, there are a whole lot of facilities that you can um, assess resources from. So do not just wait and then rely on OFWA. But if you need help um, with fund requests and all of that, just as Ruby said earlier, we are always here to guide you in assessing those as well. So yes, once again, congratulations to all of you and on behalf of Open Foundation West Africa, I say that I am so proud of you for completing this course. And we look forward to seeing great things from you. We look forward to seeing you make an impact in the, in the um, vicinities that you find yourselves. So kudos and well done. See you soon. Bye. Thank you so much, Ayel. And yeah, I hope you are inspired and you're proud of yourself. So please go out there and do the great work that you have been impacted or empowered to do. And also, whenever you do your project, we have a Kiwix Meta page. Feel free to share your story there, share your impact, even if it's just one computer. Talk about it and make noise about it because that's how the funders see your work. If you're not talking about your work, you're doing it under silent, in a silent mode. Nobody's going to see your work because then the foundation is going to ask you oh, how they, they're not sure about your, your experience. But if you're sharing it, you share your social media handle and they see that, oh, you're doing an amazing work with Kiwix. Why wouldn't they fund you? They're definitely going to fund that project. So talk about it. Share it on a meta page. We have a Kiwix for School um, meta page. So if you, you Google, um, meta.wikipedia and, and then search for keywords for school in that uh, search button. You will see the meta page. Feel free to share pictures of the works that you're going to be doing on keywords, talk about it. If you will need help in drafting, drafting a post or something like that, feel free to reach out to us and we'll support you to do that. Um, that's just about it. And we're done with the graduation. <laughs> I know a lot of you don't still want to leave, but that's it. Um, I don't know. You can give us some music and let's um, <laughs> let's say bye bye bye. <laughs>
Au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, au revoir. À nos projets, à nos projets, à nos projets. Au revoir. Au revoir. That's me. Any laughing? Okay, Jeff, that's good. Uh, chocolates, any chocolates for us? <laughs>